Welkom terug. Vandaag is Wereld Toebroeikie Dag. Ja, want daar is het speciale media het ons veel gevraagd. Laat weten op Facebook, wat denk jij is jouw ideale bederf toebroeikie? Maar nou praat ons oor toebroeikies wat een werkelijke goeie doel dien. Om jaarlijkse toebroeikie dag te vier, het, die, het Leidels of Love hierdie project wat hulle noem die Samithon. En in hierdie project beplan hulle om 90.000 toebroeikies vir mense in nood vandag te maak. 90.000 toebroekjes. Die stichter van Labels of Love, Danny de Liberto, kan hier vanochtend samen met ons te zien. De eerste keer te is niet. Good morning, Danny. Good morning. Thank you for having me. It's lovely talking to you again. Labels of Love has done so much over the years, and you've 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 fed so many hungry people. Uh, 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 what keeps you going? Before we get to the project here, what keeps Labels of Love going? I mean, it's such a lovely project. Thank you so much for your kind words. You know, I think when you find your calling, it becomes almost godly and uh, it, you just keep going. It's it's like God or whatever works through you and keeps you going. So once you have that calling, there's nothing that can stop you. And and, and, and with this Samithon project, what's the inspiration behind the project Samithon? So when COVID hit our shores in 2020, um, we wanted ideas on how to get more food out into the community without it costing ladles of love uh, too much money. And one of our volunteers came up with the idea of, of calling on people to make sandwiches. We were all stuck at our homes, so we thought, let's give people something to do. And we called on the community to start making sandwiches, and that went absolutely viral. And almost four years later, we've well, Cape Town and Johannesburg, we've made over 5.5 million sandwiches. Um, and that has oh. inspired um, uh, inspired our Samithon. You know, today we don't get as many sandwiches. So the Samithon is to remind people to continue making sandwiches because something that is so simple to us is a meal for someone who doesn't have access to food. So it's an inspiration. It's it's just something to keep people making sandwiches and feeding the community together. Absolutely. What is your primary objective with the Samithon? How do we fight the fight against hunger and food insecurity? Well, you know, with so much poverty in our country, it's, it's really difficult. Food insecurity is a major challenge. Um, so, so the main objective um, of Samithon is to get corporates involved. Um, they're going to compete against each other to make these 90,000 sandwiches. And then we're also calling on the public to go online, ladlesoflove.org.za, and buy and sponsor the sandwiches, 10 rand each. Buy as many as you can. Uh, and that money will come to Ladles of Love, which will help us continue this fight uh, against hunger relief or for hunger relief. Danny, logistically, how do you get the Samis to those in need? So we're going to make these 90,000 sandwiches. It's happening here in Cape Town. It's happening in Johannesburg. And it's also happening in Hermanus. Uh, once the sandwiches are made, they will uh, go back to our warehouse, warehouses. And then from there, our beneficiaries or the soup kitchens that we support are going to come over to our warehouse and collect the sandwiches. And we'll distribute them through our 200 plus soup kitchens that we support. You refer to, to the soup kitchens that you support. Uh, how many are there? I mean, is it... Uh, most of us are not aware of the need in South Africa. We're not aware of all these soup kitchens running. There are people giving their lives and giving their love every day to those who need food, who need to be fed. Um, um, are there a lot of soup kitchens running? <laughs> Well, let me give you an idea. So on our books, we've got about 156 soup kitchens. Those soup kitchens, there's a few of them that support more soup kitchens, like one, for example, they'll collect food weekly and then they split it amongst another 12 soup kitchens. Wow. We've got a waiting list of over 900 soup kitchens that we just can't get to because we don't have the funding for it. And that's just us. So it's it's... You know, we don't realize those little nonprofits out there, those little soup kitchens, they are keeping starvation away from, you know, they're keeping people from dying of starvation, to be honest. So so it's that together with the, the public and the corporates that contribute towards food relief that really keeps our nation from going hungry. 
Well, and it is, if you think about it, such an atrocity. I, I didn't realise when you mentioned just the uh, on the, the waiting list, the 900 that you have loan, and that's not even other companies that we're speaking about. I, I had no idea, to be honest. And then, to me, what's an atrocity is how much food we waste. How much food we end up in bins at our homes because I don't know we overcook we don't necessarily think of other people and you know in something like you said like something like a sandwich which we take for granted is someone's meal yes 100 percent and that's why we call on you know this sandwich drive has been so important for us because we need as a community you know people do ask me like you know, aren't we enabling people to rem to remain unemployed or aren't we just giving them what they need? And the, the, the story is, you know, as long as there's corruption and bad governance and, and uh, unemployment, that will continue to feed the poverty that we experience in our country. And if we together don't take care of that poverty, we will have an unsustainable country. So together we do need to keep each other fed and that's that's the reality of today and the sandwich really does that and the reality is a, a, a child going to school today without having something to eat this morning it's not his fault it is not to blame for his situation it is is a victim of hunger and of poverty and, and and we should reach out to those people i mean what are what are the stories danny that keeps you motivated what are what are the successes that you you can say, here yeah, we've made a difference. I know you don't want to brag about these kind of things. That's not what it's about. But 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 what are the successes? Well, the successes are that we have distributed over since COVID began, we have distributed over five and a half thousand tons of food into the communities. To give you an idea, if you had to take those Pentechnican trucks, those huge delivery uh -huh. trucks. Um, they would, you would have a queue about four kilometers long that would be packed with food. That's, that's how much food that we've together been able to get out into the community. And then you've got all the soup kitchens that we support that cook this food that have generated over 40 million meals since COVID began. Wow. So that is... And then when you say five and a half million sandwiches, I don't know, you know, if you had to put one sandwich next to the, each other and create a line, you would, you would create a line over 500 kilometers long wow. of sandwiches. That's what we've done together, you know, and that's the power of collaboration. And, and you know, when you ask what's my calling, that is it. <laughs> that is it. How can we all get involved? Let's talk about this collaboration. How can, how can we strengthen your hand? How can corporates help you today with this 90,000 sandwiches that you aim to make today? So the best is to go to our website, ladlesoflove.org.za. Um, on there, you, your button will pop up. You can click on that. You can go and sponsor the sandwiches. As I said, 10 Rand for, for one sandwich. Buy as many as you can. That money comes to Ladles of Love and then for corporates to get involved. For us, it's about creating relationships. It's saying to the corporates, come on a journey with us and let's walk together to create change. And we can do that together. And for that, I'd say, please go to info at ladlesoflove.org.za and we will connect with you and together let's create hope. Wow. Thank you very much, Danny, for what you and Ladles of Love are doing to help alleviate poverty in our communities. It is absolutely, I don't know, it, 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 it's magical work. Thank you very much. And thank you for living your calling. Thank you. And thank you for sharing ladles of love and letting people know about us. Appreciate yeah. it. Sure. No, yeah. Ja, dit is ongelooflijk om te denken dat mensen verschil maken. En het feit ook niet ek en jij daar ons is kan een verschil maken. Of het is dat je je tien rand geeft, tien rand van je gewoonlijk moors dalk op een zijstokje ivers. Of zelfs je, weet je, hier zeg ik het aan dat ik een help brood iets maak. Jij kan natuurlijk een verschil maken. En ik denk dus wel waar het gaan. En kijk ook, ik denk ons allemaal kan ook kijken hoeveel koos ons moors. Want als zoveel mensen is wat niks het niet. Zo so gaan bezoek gerust Leidels of Love om meer daar te horen.